front section, um, the front part section off, and then I sectioned off two pretty much square sides. The parts aren't perfect. I'm not worried about perfect parts, but if you are, you can definitely take the time to make them neater. So I section off um, two square sides on both sides of my heads. And what I'm going to do right now is just make um, flat twists. In the video that I showed you guys before, I actually did like one big flat twist like this going up. But I think today I'm actually going to do two flat twists instead of one. So um, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So I want them to kind of curve. So I'm going to do like a parting a kind of curved parting kind of like that curve down um, my daughter's in the room with me too so you'll hear a little bit of noise okay so I'm going to take a little bit of edge control before I twist my hair to kind of uh, slick down the edges just a little bit So I'm using this uh, Marley hair that I showed you guys in my monthly favorites, the Equal Free Dress Equal Jamaican Twist Braid right here, color 1B. So when you cut, when it comes out of the pack, um, it's attached by a rubber band at the top. I'm going to use this rubber band to do the hairstyle. Um, it is like a tan color, so if you want to replace it and, and wrap it up with a black rubber band, you can. Um, it's not really necessary because... Um, it's going to be hidden. So I'm going to take this rubber band and I'm just going to tie it around my top pony. Okay. And then I'm going to split the hair in half. Okay. Split the hair in half. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to split it in half one more time. Okay. So now I've got a fourth of the hair. And I'm going to, thank you, baby. So I got a fourth of the hair, so I'm going to just twist this like this. Just a regular uh, two strand twist. So you're going to need a lot of bobby pins for this style. Okay, so I got that fourth of the hair, and then I'm going to twist it around the top. Um,. You want to twist it kind of loose because that, that's what gives your hair volume. So you want to twist it kind of loose, pull it, up, pull it apart a little bit if you need to, and then just start pinning it down. Okay, start pinning it down. Okay, then I'm going to take the other fourth. I'm also going to twist this one very lightly. You don't want to twist it tight. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of um, weave it in here. Now you can weave it in here how you like. 
I like to kind of pull it through that way. Alright, so my camera stopped. So like I was saying, I just like to weave it through so I can get a nice cool shape. So take it, I pull some of the hair across the um some of the hair across the puff that I made. Um pull it back through in the back. I have no rhyme or reason. Like there is no method to my mayhem. Or basically what I'm saying is I'm not doing it in any particular way. Every time I do this, I just pin it differently. So just get it up there and pin it the way it looks good to you. So I put some pins in the middle here to kind of cover that part of my hair. Um, that I put in a ponytail. And then I also want to pin these over the, the flat twist. Pin this side over the flat twist that you put there. Okay. Now this part we're going to use for the back. We're going to take the same process. We're just going to twist this once. And we're going to pull it around. Okay, take it, if it's on this side of your head, you want to take it to the other side of your head, alright, and then take it around that ponytail. So it's going to look something like this. Okay, so you're going to take it around that ponytail, and then we're going to worry about um, making sure everything looks nice and neat later. Right now we're just getting our basic shape. Okay, so I'm pinning the ends. All right. So now I got my basic basic shape. I got my basic shape going on here. Okay. So now, time for more pinning. I'm gonna pin this side back down over the flat twist. Okay. All right. My ponytail is sticking up a little bit higher than I would like, so I'm going to just take a pin and pull it down. Okay. okay, now I'm going to start pinning the back. Now I've done the back both ways. I've done the back to where I've left my hair sticking out of the middle, and it really doesn't, it's really not as noticeable because. The Marley hair is the same color as my own hair and the same texture, so it really kind of blends in. That's fine, but I've also taken a little bit of hair, like what I'm doing right now, just pulling it over that bun and just kind of pinning it. Okay, so I'm doing this with no mirror, just my camera. I'm just looking at my camera, so you know, when you have a mirror, you can really get in there and make everything look gorgeous. All right. All right, guys. So almost done here. So after you've got everything pretty much pinned down the way you want it, then you want to address your pompadour. So I'm going to unbraid this part of my hair right here. Okay, you just want to brush it out just a little bit. Just using a paddle brush. Okay, so brush it out. Then now you're just gonna take it and roll it up and pin it. So you can take it, roll it up, and pin it like this. Or you if that's too difficult for you, you can take just like a little black rubber band or a little rubber band. Put the rubber band at the very end of the section like this. Okay, and then pull it up and flip it over like that. So pull it up, flip it over, pin it down right where that rubber band is. Pin it down. Don't lose your volume because you want that, that volume right there at the, the front. Okay, so pin it down. Pin it down like that. Like 
And you want to kind of pin it with the Marley hair so it all looks like it's your hair. I mean, some people will know it's Marley hair. But, you know, you want to... You don't want it to be, like, super duper obvious. Okay, so I think I just need one more pin right up here. Okay, so we're almost done. Look like my edge is rolled back up. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit more of this and do my edges. Um, this stuff is actually really, really great. Um, it is the Natural Honey and Shea Edge Tamer from Design Essentials. I got it in my uh, We Are Onyx box. And this stuff is actually really, really thick. Sweetheart, close the bathroom door. Thank you. So I got it in my um, We Are Onyx box. So I'm just kind of, so I'm just kind of slicking those edges down. Y'all can't see what I'm doing. Like I'm right here in front of a window, and I'm looking in this viewfinder, and the window is like so bright that I can't even really see myself. So I'm gonna go in the bathroom and finish slicking down my edges, and then I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. So I wanted to mention that this hairstyle looks really cute. If you can have some big earrings, like some big hoops like this, or maybe some big dangly earrings. It looks really cute with statement earrings because the hair is pulled up. And that's just a really cute combination. If you are hairy like I am, you might want to get your barber or your husband or somebody to edge up the back of your neck. So the, the back of it looks really neat. But sometimes I don't even bother with that. So this hairstyle will last up to about um, two weeks. I normally wear it about a week. Then I take it down, wash and deep condition my hair. But it, it could last up to two weeks. All you got to do is tie it with a satin scarf at night. You don't have to do anything to this part when you wake up in the morning. You want, might want to make sure your edges look neat, but overall, this will stay intact if you have enough bobby pins in there to really just hold it in place. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I thank you for watching. More videos to come. I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.